Today I effed up by trying to bang a goth baddie, and my wife found out. My wife, 32 female, and I, 31 male, are in a healthy and happy relationship. That said, we've been together since high school, so we both feel that we missed out a little by being each other's only sexual experiences. We've talked about this at length and decided a few years ago that we're okay with having a few hall passes in our relationship, since we very much intend to stay together the rest of our lives and don't want any resentment over missed possibilities. Plus it's pretty rare that we could even find such an opportunity, as it's a little hard to find hookups when you're in a committed marriage and don't go out much. We even gave each other advance approval in case a situation arises so long as we're safe about it and tell each other immediately afterward. We've both used one hall pass, each with someone we knew well enough but would never see again, and no issues came out of it. In fact, it's only made us more secure in our relationship and how much we genuinely appreciate being with each other. Recently, I had to travel to London for work. I don't normally get to travel for work, so I decided to make a trip out of it and spend a few extra days of my own time in the city after the project was done. My wife couldn't join because she didn't have any vacation time left but was very supportive of me taking some time to explore since I've never been to London, and she has. Being cheap, and being a pretty outgoing guy when I'm so inclined, I decided to stay in a hostel. I was interested in meeting other travelers since I didn't know anyone in the city and loved being sociable with new people. I chatted with several of the people staying there, and in particular a very attractive French girl, mid-twenties, who dressed super goth. For context, I love the goth girl look. I've been sucked into the goth girlfriend propaganda online, much to the annoyance of my wife. It isn't her style, but she has been nice enough to cater to me by putting on a sexy goth outfit on occasion, since she knows it's a huge fantasy of mine. Still, I pester her constantly to be more goth because I enjoy it so much. Anyway, I ended up spending a little bit of time with goth French Batty. We both went to the hostel's happy hour event and hit it off there. I found out that she was recently single and was in London for an art show. It turned out we were both into emo music, and we talked about our favorite bands. I had the thought that she was acting a bit flirty towards me, but didn't think too much of it until I later found myself sharing a sink with her in the hostel bathroom. The hostel was co-ed, so each floor had a small shared bathroom with a communal sink, and a door that was meant to be kept open but which people frequently closed for the sake of having more privacy than just a stall to shower in. So I'm brushing my teeth while chatting up the real-life version of Shadowheart, who, mind you, is wearing an extremely low-cut top, when she suddenly closes the bathroom door behind us. In my mind, my wildest fantasy is about to come true. It's even more exciting because of the adrenaline rush of being in a semi-public setting, and a girl being so into me that she would make such a bold move. I can't believe this is actually happening to me. I instantly get hard. Then she turns around and asks, Are you interested in learning about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? She had me cornered for ten minutes trying to talk me into salvation while I grew increasingly despondent and immensely disappointed, with the whiplash of going from what could have been one of the crowning moments of my life, to pure and utter dejection. When I told my wife this story, she laughed for a solid hour. She said it's karma for annoying her about wanting a goth girlfriend. Too long didn't read, my life dream was to bang a hot goth girl. I thought I was getting the opportunity, but got cock-blocked by Jesus Christ. God is real and he hates me. That's the end of this story. This story is hilarious. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's see what the Reddit commenters have to say. First comment. Every woman reading this has a brand new weapon to get away from guys they don't want hitting on them. Next comment. Not the kind of missionary you had in mind, eh? Another comment. I too have a devastating weakness for darklings. But then I've also been going to goth clubs for the past 20 years. It's a much more reliable way of meeting the ones that would rather share damnation with you. Last comment. Jesus didn't cock-block you guys. She knew you were into her and wanted to put you off. Laughing my ass off. These comments are hilarious. Thank you for listening and watching. Please let me know what you think about this in the comments. I would love to read about what you have to say. 
I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day.